The object selection tool now automatically detects the people in your photos and their specific attributes. You can hover over the image and click to select the desired area. Or even better, you can go into the brand new Select People button. Then choose a detected person's thumbnail and hover over the Recognize Attribute buttons to highlight the selected area. Photoshop currently detects 21 attributes including facial features, clothing, and accessories. You can click on Show More to see more attributes and you can combine them by clicking on multiple buttons. Then you can click Apply to create the selection. This feature aims to speed up and streamline the editing process by quickly isolating body parts. It's especially handy for creating quick selections for use in localized adjustment workflows and generator fill. Let me show you a few ways to use this feature. Start by enabling the object selection tool by pressing the W key. If you have another nested tool active, you can hold shift and tap on the W key until you toggle to the object selection tool. With the Select People button, you can create a selection around everyone in the photo by clicking on this icon and choosing Entire Person. Or you can create selections around specific areas on both people. For example, if you click Teeth and hit Apply, the selection will appear around both their teeth. Now, you can use a Hue and Saturation Adjustment layer to desaturate and brighten their teeth. But most of the time, you will most likely use this feature to make targeted adjustments to just one person. For example, you can click on the thumbnail with her face on it. Then on the Show More link, click on Coat to select her jacket. Alternatively, you can hover over the image to see a preview of the various segmented areas associated with a person. In this case, you can just click on her jacket to make a selection. These automatic selections are great, but not perfect. You will have to make a few adjustments in most cases, but they will definitely speed up the selection process. To edit the selections, you can press the L key to enable a selection brush tool. Then you can use the bracket keys on the keyboard to adjust the brush size. The bracket keys are to the right of the letter P in North American keyboards. Now you can just paint over the areas you would like to include in the selection. In this case, her shoulder. If you need to subtract from the selection, hold Alt and simply paint over it. When you're done editing the selection, you can apply any adjustment you like. For example, you can go into the new adjustment layer icon and create a hue and saturation adjustment. Then from the properties panel, you can click on colorize and adjust the hue to make the jacket red and then adjust the saturation accordingly. And with these simple short steps, we made the jacket red. And by the way, make sure to like and subscribe now if you're enjoying this video. The Select People feature also works well with Generator Fill. For example, you can open the Select People dropdown, click on the man's face thumbnail, and then on the Show More link. Now, click on Accessories and Lower Clothes to select his belt and pants. Now hit Apply to create the selection. Then press the L key to enable the Selection Brush tool and paint in the missing area here on the belt. And from the taskbar, you can use Generator Fill to replace his pants. I'll use the prompt Black Leather Pants and hit Generate. Photoshop will do an incredible job with the generations and you can choose the one you like best. Let me now show you one trick that can come in handy when making selections. Remember, you can always use this feature to subtract from an active selection. For example, if you wanted to select everything on her body except her shoes, you could go into Select People, choose her thumbnail, and click on Entire Person. Then hit Apply. Now hover over her shoes, hold Alt, and click. This will remove her shoes from the active selection. And this works with any selection, not just the ones created with the Object Selection tool. For example, you can create a marquee selection over her body. Then with the Object Selection tool, hover over her pants, hold Alt, and click to deselect. Keep this trick in mind, it'll definitely come in handy in some editing workflows. If you want to try out this feature, make sure you're using the latest Photoshop Beta version 26.3.0. You can download it from your Creative Cloud app. Just click on the Apps icon, then on the Beta tab. And from here, look for the Photoshop Beta and install it. And if you made it this far, like and subscribe now. My name is Jesus Ramirez. Thank you for watching.